Hey friends, Tux here, and I am excited because today I got something in the mail. I got a huge box here from Safari Limited. They make some awesome toys, and they have this new campaign going on called How I Safari. And so we wanted to check this out together here. And what I'm going to do, I'm assuming there's probably several different things in here. What we'll do is we'll kind of make this like an unboxing video. And then I'll show off and we'll actually do like an unboxing review of one of the items in here. And then I'll save some more for a future box. But man, I am so excited. They make some awesome stuff. You can find these toys in various stores around your local area. Just check with your local stores. And again, this is something that they did send to me. So I want to thank Safari Limited for this awesome box, man. I really do appreciate it. So let's go ahead. It's like Christmas, guys. Let's go ahead and open this and find out what is inside the box. Got my handy little knife here. We'll go ahead and open this up and check out the contents. Kids, be careful if you're using a knife. Be sure to have your parents help you out. And let's take a look in here and see what we got. All right, got some packing in here. Very nicely packed. And let's see, we got an invoice of some kind here. Um, we'll go ahead and put this to the side for right now. And oh my god, there's some cool figures and stuff in here. Let's take a look. First is a little poster. Let's take a look at this. Let me try and get this out here. And this is, oh, this is cool. This is like, wow, is this like a folder? This is like a, a translucent plastic folder here. Safari Limited. And basically this has their information here at the bottom and just some really cool looking dragons and dinosaurs and farm animals and different things in the sea. We got sharks and mermaids. Very cool. And they have some contact information there. And I really recommend their toys. They put a lot of time and work into the toys. And you really can tell the difference when you look at the toys and the craftsmanship of quality of the sculpt and the painting. But um, let's find out together here what is inside the box and see what we have going on. Okay, it looks like there's four things in here that I can tell. We'll go ahead and check out these real quick. It looks like we have, let's see here. We have, it looks like, uh, choo -choo 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 -choo, uh, Mr. Hippograph. This is, is like a flying bird, a horse kind of thing. And um, of course, this is like a mythical creature, like fantasy, which is really cool. And we'll be doing a review, a more in-depth review of this coming up down the road. And let's see what else we got in here. We have, ooh, wow, look at this. This is super creepy. This is a uh, Desert Dragon, D-R-A. And this is like very cool. Looks like something out of like ancient Egypt or something. It's like a scorpion dragon mix with gold all over it. Very cool. And again, in-depth review coming up down the road for you. I hope you get a little preview of that. If you like one of these more than the others or something, if there's a favorite you have, let me know in the comments below here and we can bump that one up on the review list. Okay, and let's see what we have here. Oh, cool, this is like a flying, flaming horse. This is really cool. I love the paint and the detail in these. And again, once we open up one, you'll see how awesome they are. And this one here, let me take a look here. This is uh, Mr. Pyrus. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, there's a little code for you. It is item number 802729. And I guess I should give you the item numbers here. This scorpion is 10128. And then the little flying mount here is 803329. But there's four things. And these are three of them, but we're going to review the fourth one I pull out here. This is kind of random, so I'm not sure which one this is going to be. Let's see here. Oh, wow, this is really cool. This is a lot of translucentness in it. This is excellent. This is like, it looks like a dragon bird of some kind. Let's see what they call this here. This here is item number 801329. And this is Mr. Phoenix rising from the ashes. This is awesome. Let me go ahead and put this stuff to the side here. We'll put these back in the box, oops. And we'll be reviewing those on an upcoming video for you. But for today, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this one here, which of course is Mr. Phoenix. Okay, first off, I like the way they package these. They package them, it's basically translucent plastic, and it's kind of in like a plastic bag, but also has like a blister wrap on the inside. So that keeps it really nice and secure so that way limbs won't break off and that kind of thing. It's very important having a good packing, trying to get it to the stores. And I believe you can buy them and they actually ship them in bags like this as well. There is a barcode in case you want to see that. There you go. And let's go ahead and open this up. I've always loved dragons. Like, I don't know if you guys have 
followed dragons before in the past. Um, I play a number of video games that involve dragons, and of course, there's TV shows and stuff that you lately that have dragons in them. And um, dragons are definitely a hot topic. Oh my god! Wow, look at the detail in this. Oh wow. Phoenix, eat a win, three to nine. And what we'll do is we'll take off his little collar here. And this is really cool, man. I'm loving, loving, loving the artwork on this. Check out the detail. Hopefully this is the camera's doing this justice. This particular phoenix here, of course, is like a, a large bird dragon creature. And if you know more about these, you can let me know. Really, dragons... Dragons are really interesting. Dragons, when they first started, they really had like two different cultures of dragons. There's like the European dragon, which is what you see in a lot of like um, fairy tales and like Game of Thrones and different TV shows and things, or like you know movies like The Hobbit or whatever. And then there's you know the Asian, which is more like the Chinese dragon, which you see in parades and things like that. And there's other like Japanese and Korean dragons kind of follow those two that path. But there's really two distinct paths of dragons, and they have kind of influenced each other over the years. But um, Dragons are definitely something which I am very into. And this is really nice, man. Check out the artwork here. Okay, so the wings themselves are kind of like they're a little bit bendy here. And they have some really nice translucent plastic. But there's also paint work down here on the top part, which is really nice. So there's a little bit of bendableness to this, but it's very solid. It's not going to like, um, you know, not stay in position. It's, meant it's molded to be in this position, which is great. The actual feet themselves have lots of little details as far as the little nails. You can see there's like, um, it looks like they're painted brown, but then they do a little bit of scratching out to kind of give it like a real realistic bird, almost like a, like a chicken uh, foot, which is really cool looking. Very nice. It has a little spur here in back, which is very nice. Kind of like a rooster. The bottom of the feet are really nice too. They don't ignore the bottom. They're painted nice and real nice sculpt. And you can see these lines aren't like the same exact width. They're kind of individually cut to give that real realistic, kind of like a fingerprint is all unique. Every little foot here will be just a little bit different, which is really nice. The base of it is really nice too. I mean, you can see the light almost shines through it. I think the body of it, you can kind of see like a little light shining through there a little bit. I don't know if the camera is really catching this or not, but it, you can see it here from the in-room lighting we have, the camera lighting. And then the head itself is really nice. You can see it has a little tongue sticking out. He's like, ah! And you can see like nice paint job around the top of the feathers here. Every other feather is yellow, which is really cool. Very cool little eye. Looks like it's like bronze color. And the beak itself is almost like marbleized. You can see there's a lot of different textures in there. You can see there's like lighter there and darker there, which is really cool. What a fierce bird, man. That is really awesome. Phoenixes have been definitely a mythological creature through the years. So this is great, guys. Thank you very much for this, Phoenix. This is really awesome. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, there's a little branding down here for you. It has the numbers and such. But just really nice sculpt. Great job on the paint job. Super realistic. And just a really cool welcome collection to my um, mythological creatures collection. So anyway, guys, this is how I safari. I love to collect figurines. As you guys know, I'm a collector of toys, and this is definitely no exception. So I want to thank Safari Limited very much for sending this box of toys, man. Thank you guys so much. We'll be having more of these coming up down the road, and um, if you have a particular request, which one you want to see next, just let me know here in the comments below. And of course, as always, guys, this video does count towards one of my giveaways. Right now, we're working on the new giveaway, which is going to be coming up. So this is kind of like an advanced entry into a giveaway. Just say, enter me here in the comments, and you get your name in the hat to win some really cool prizes, okay? All right, guys, be sure and check out Tux Reviews, my review channel. Be sure and check out Tux Toys on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, my Instagram viewers got a quick sneak peek of me getting this box uh, before the video actually went up. So be sure and check out Tux Toys on Instagram. And um, be sure and check out Gamer Tux, my upcoming gaming channel. So anyway, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one. Ah, ah, ah.